Hello everyone, welcome back to RCH Builders. So I'm actually trying out and testing a new mic that I have gotten. And we'll see, hopefully it will work better than the last one. If uh, this doesn't work well, I may end up having to uh, redo some audio for this video. But it's kind of more of a test anyways. Um, as far as the audio part goes, what we're doing today is the homeowner for this project is wanting to use rock wall insulation in their walls instead of uh, the standard that fiberglass that you get from the store. Uh, they're not really doing wanting it for any... Um, as far as like what some people might choose as far as natural type reasons. They want something more natural. They're actually wanting to do it for the purpose of sound barrier. Um, they said that they realized after they moved in, because um, you know, when you're looking at a house, you're not necessarily going to notice something that doesn't happen in relation to the house itself but when they uh, moved into the house and they bought it they found out that apparently not too far from here um, they said off back in that direction somewhere there is a uh, wedding venue where people do weddings um, I think the venue can also be used for other things like parties as well but because because of that there's loud music sometimes you know that can be heard all through here because there's no insulation in this house at all and so with the loud music being played no insulation windows drafty all that they just they, they can hear all the noise everywhere they also can hear the traffic from the road constantly uh, so with that, they wanted to go with rock wool because it has more of a uh, sound barrier type option. So that's actually the reason they wanted to do it. Now, rock wool is definitely a more pain to put in, but that's what we're going to do. Um, today, we're not doing all of it. We're actually only going to do this one section of the wall from that wall to this wall. The reason is, is because they have not gotten, we're not the ones doing this main project. They actually had hired somebody else to do it because we couldn't get to it fast enough, um, which, you know, is fine. But I was, it was just, uh, they, they were supposed to be having a baby and they wanted to be able to have this done before the baby was born. So, we couldn't get to it in time to make that happen. So, instead, they hired these uh, other people to do the work. And they were not doing the insulation. So, it was something that was added in afterward. So, we're going to do the insulation part. But the contractor who is doing this, they have not gotten their rough in inspections. So, these walls cannot be insulated yet until they get the inspections. However, this wall right here, there is no rough in, no electrical, no plumbing, nothing going in this wall. And they, when they get the tub insert, the whole tub insert is going to go in right here. And that wall will not be able to be accessed. They have to have the tub in with the drain so that they can get their rough and inspection on the tub and the drain system. So with that, we have to insulate this wall before they put the tub in. So in this case, this wall is the only one we're going to insulate today.
standard installation, you can easily push the uh, insulation flat and use a level and just a razor blade to cut. This stuff, because it is a lot thicker, it's a lot denser, which is why it works as a sound barrier. You can't really do that without messing up the integrity of the material. That's why instead of using a keyhole saw, I mean not, I'm sorry, <laughs> instead of using a razor blade, I am using a keyhole saw designed for sheetrock, but it works well for this as well. When you're doing it, you probably mainly want to only cut, like when you're, when I'm cutting, I'm not really cutting on the back stroke. I'm kind of pulling it forward. You're mainly wanting to make your cuts with the forward motion. Otherwise you have to tear it towards you. So the measurement I got is 22. However, instead of going making your cut at 22, you want to make your cut at like a half inch bigger so that it squeezes in. And that will help it stay in place. So you notice width-wise we got 14 and three eighths. These are pre-cut to go in here and they're already, they're 15 and three eighths. They actually have them a whole one inch bigger. So it's designed to squeeze in at least a whole inch. Half inch works great when you're making your cuts. Gives you enough play so that it just diverts to the edges. So, instead of making this cut, which is bigger, we'll make some smaller ones first. The reason being is because while we have a larger piece, it'll be a lot easier to make these smaller cuts because we'll have more to hold on to versus making that one first and then we got this little bitty piece where we're trying to make our cut across. They're even just trying to do these smaller sections here. It's already just, it's a lot difficult. But it'd be even worse if we were trying to do it with the whole thing being smaller. Still got too much so we can cut it down some more. There's another piece.
with our left. All right, so now that that's done, so now you see it takes a little bit longer than the other stuff. Cause a lot more cutting. And as you see, the rock wool does not come with a vapor barrier, which helps make sure that, helps keep the insulation dry through the building sweating and everything. Also, the other thing that helps with the, that the vapor bearer helps with is making sure that the insulation doesn't end up falling or making its way out of the wall. So when you do this kind of insulation or any other insulation that doesn't have it, you will need to actually install a vapor barrier separately. So all this is is three mil plastic. We'll measure it from basically wall to wall. All right, so you don't really necessarily have to cut this off. It could be fine just to leave here. It's not going to hurt anything. It would just act as a vapor barrier for the floor. But I don't want to leave it just in case maybe somebody stepped on it, caught it with their foot, and then they ended up pulling it off the wall like my knife just did because it's not very sharp. So instead, 
I'm gonna cut it off just to avoid anyone catching their foot on it and messing it up. Now that wall is insulated. So now they can put their tub in. Just a really quick little job. Uh, didn't take too long. Hope you all enjoyed watching. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you the next time.